we have for twenty dollars a spinning. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to day 22 of Thriftmas. Today we're having a look at this big old box full of kitchen things that I've picked up from various thrift stores over the past couple of weeks and I thought it could be fun to, instead of me picking the things up and showing you guys and telling you what they are, how about I give them to Dan and then Dan can tell you guys what they are. And Dan, just so you know, this big old box does count as one ginormous Christmas present for you. <laughs> <laughs> This is, that's it, how I get out is of that giving, how this works? Yeah, I get out of giving you presents this year by presenting you with a box of kitchen goods. Let's start off with this. A coffee bean store? Yes. This is the source of our caffeine addiction. <laughs> this is how we survive. <laughs> oh, now they've already seen what's inside it. Oh, more coffee. Yep, so a couple of episodes ago, <laughs> you guys might remember that I got this little pink one. This was $4 and a few days later, that's when I found the big blue one. So hold them up together. This is more appropriate for us. Yeah, that, that size, yeah. So how about we put the caffeinated beans in that one and the decaf beans in this one? Oh, well, sorry, we don't have a green one. No. We've got a pink one and a blue one, but no green one. Do you want to go in? What's in there? Do you want to have a yellow? Uh, one day. One day, Archie. One day on video, he will yell into an object. Uh, this one was $4 and that one was $5. Does it say coffee on it? No. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. Because oh. no one would need this much coffee. I don't know about that. Look, when you're publishing a video a day, every day for the entire month of December, <laughs> you need about that much coffee. No, this is the 2020 cup of coffee. <laughs> All right, next we have these. Okay, they're candle holders, obviously. Are you... they? Yeah. Are like... they not cups? What, what if you're pouring it from this side and you're looking and you're pouring and pouring and it's just... True. It doesn't... Work. Maybe they're not really cups. It's the swirly glass. I love the swirly glass. You guys know that I have this enormous collection of swirly glass that I've been picking up from various thrift stores and I was so happy when I found these ones. These are so cute, but as Dan has pointed out, they're, they're probably not really cups. No, I think they're more candles. They're really cute. If you have tea like light holders, I tea suppose. Tea light holders, like two on a table. Like yes, that. okay, so they can count as kitchenware because they can sit on the table when you're eating dinner. So what started my obsession with the swirly glass is actually this bowl and my uncle gave me this bowl years ago for my birthday and it's pink swirly glass and then this year my sister-in-law, Dan's sister, gave me this vase for my birthday and when I was at the Vinnie's in Windsor I found this beautiful drinking jug so all these three things seem to match together really really nicely and now I found all of these things at various thrift stores as well. So I've really built up a really nice collection of beautiful pastel colored swirly glass. I'm so happy. Oh my God. Doesn't it look glorious? Doesn't that look so purposeful? Like as if I thrifted all of this, as if all of this was thrifted. Um, this is pure magic. Now, the audience has already seen these, but you haven't. Oh, they're like my childhood ones. They bring back memories of childhood, yeah. huh? They do. Like, as if you didn't have a set of, like, these. Yeah, I feel like most kids in the 90s grew up with cups like these, having well, lemonade by the pool. In Australia here, it's like your parents don't trust you with glass, so you get these. Yeah, this is one of my favourite finds ever, and I think Artie's gonna like this one. Oh, it's swans! Or are these ducks? Goose. These are gooses, aren't they? These are measuring cups that are in the shape of little geese. Look, Artie, what do you think? <laughs> this one is a quarter cup. Do they use cup measurements in America? Uh, or do they use like a different, do they use? Oh, they use um, like ounces and fluid yeah, ounces. Yeah, fluid ounces. Well, we use cup measurements. Mm. This is a quarter of a cup or a quarter of a goose. Are you a quarter of a goose, Archie? Are you a third of a goose? What do you think, Archie? Do you like them? <laughs> They're so cute. So it was $12 for this set. You know, this is a really nice Christmas gift to give someone. Yeah, give myself. What? I'm not getting, you think I'm gonna give them to someone else? They're for us. Don't be daft. That's adorable. As if you wouldn't be happy with that. 
Uh, these would make, yes, Dan's right, these would make an excellent Christmas present. That would but... make my sister so happy. No, your, your sister can't have some. There's a picture of a little bird on the bottom of these, but there is no brand, so I'm terribly sorry, guys. I can't tell you where they're from or who made them or what. Oh, Archie, you want to come see? Do you want to come see your new friends? <laughs> he doesn't know what to think. Are you a terrible, terrible goose? <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful day in the village and you are a horrible, horrible, horrible goose. goose. So uh, yeah, these, these are excellent. I think this is like going into the list of my absolute favorite things that I've thrifted. All right guys, these next things, you won't believe this. So those of you that have been following me on my stone goblet journey might recognize. Look, I found more stone goblets. I found yeah. four of them. So it cost $25 for this set, which is totally fine by me. The two green ones that I got were $4 each. So these ones were a little bit more expensive than those, but these are way, way cooler. So these ones that I got, these are a solid piece of stone. It's carved out of one solid piece of stone, but these, that they've actually taken like small pieces and they basically carved them and then they've stuck them together with some sort of green grout or glue or something. They're, oh my God, they are so beautiful. I can't believe I found four of them. What do you think, Archie? So the fact that I found those two green ones and I got so excited about it, and then a couple of days later, I found these. I found four. What are you doing, you silly bird? <laughs> <laughs> these are so beautiful. And uh, I feel like I manifested these into existence because in one of my earlier videos, I was like, guys, I hope that I find more of these. And, and look, I walked into the Seven Hills Salvos and this was the first thing that I saw was sitting on a shelf and I was so happy. Do you like them, Dan? Yeah, they're really cool. The thing is though- I'm not sure what beverage you would really- Well, I don't know if you should drink out of them. Cause like, isn't is this sort of stone porous? Like, would it not absorb like the color of whatever you're drinking? I can imagine pouring red wine into this and it's staining them. I don't know. Can you guys tell me in the comments down below, should I actually put a beverage in these? I don't know. Anyway, so happy with these. These are absolutely glorious. Okay, this next one, this is so cute. I hope you like this, Dan. Yeah. Look, it's a peach pouring jug. Oh, we could put our peach cider in this. <gasps> oh. Oh, what's in there? Are you going to yell? Bah! Is there anything written on the bottom of it? It says Vinnie's. $10. $10. $10 dollars from Vinnie's and I think it's brand new. So what makes this so cute is it's got all these like hand, almost like hand done brush strokes all over it. So they haven't tried to be perfect about it. They haven't tried to disguise that it's like hand painted. You can see the brush strokes. Yes, Archie. Okay. Why do you want to keep putting your head in these things? Are you looking for something? So anyway, this, this is just the cutest shaped jug ever. Like it's so round and satisfying to hold and I'm pretty sure it's brand new. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. All right, this is the next thing and I'm, I've just hidden it from Dan because I don't want him to see. What do you think? It's one of these coffee cups, they're really neat. So this is called a hug mug because it fits like perfectly into your hands and when you hold it with two hands, you can drink your hot chocolate and keep your hands warm by holding it like this. It's like perfectly shaped. What, what is it? I'll make a hot chocolate in this so you guys can see just how beautiful it looks with hot chocolate inside. Oh, you're gonna show off your barista skills. Yes, finally. <laughs> I've waited years for this moment. Next up, you take this. No. I spotted these at the Salvos in Seven Hills and I didn't buy them the first time that I saw them because I, I thought they were cool, but I was like, I don't really need them. And then I left and then I started thinking about them for days on end and I was like, who am I kidding? I 110% need them. That was a big one. They are little baby martini glasses. Little baby martini glasses. Little baby, like you got one little and it's done. Three dollar reduce. They were three dollars each. Can you see why I bought them? Are they not just like the They're gorgeous. Archie. This is his drink, this is mine. So these adorable little pastel balloons and the bottom of them is pink. They're so cute and I, could, I literally couldn't stop thinking about them. I saw them on a Friday. I thought about them all weekend and then I went back for them on the Monday. I actually got to the store 10 minutes before it opened so I could be the first person through the doors so I could buy them. I don't know why I was just paranoid that like first thing Monday morning someone would 
know that I wanted them and they'd go there and buy them. What is it, Archie? What are you doing with that little foot? What's that grabby foot? Do you want you, this one? You want to hold the martini glass? Yeah. They're super retro and so adorable and for $3 each, how could I not buy them? I love them so much. All right, next up. Ooh, look at this. It's so cute, I really like them. Whoa, they're so hefty. So I think that these are potentially marble. They are coasters. Yeah. And uh, we just got a new kitchen done and they match our kitchen island. So these were $10 from Vinnie's and it's a set of four and they're really, really heavy. I think they're solid marble. Yeah. The shape is really nice too. Not perfectly square. They've got this interesting kind of like curved detail. Yeah. They're so cool. Do you like them, Dan? Yeah, I love them. And they've got like a nice soft bottom on them and they're really nicely polished too. It's not just like rough. All right. What do you think of this? It's a bowl. <laughs> it's a bird bowl. Why, why do you keep getting into everything that I pick up? So see on the side, it's got these little pastel... <laughs> it's got these little pastel stripes on the side of it. And um, on the bottom, it says... Tempo 80 mi Mikasa? Mikasa? Harmony Oven to table to dishwasher Safe for microwave oven made in Japan. So even though it's only just got a couple of little pastel colors on it, I, I just couldn't resist buying it. It's so cute. And I like that it's oven safe, microwave safe, dishwasher safe. It's like an all round excellent bowl for serving things. And Archie is patiently Archie's, wanting his dinner. <laughs> Archie's breakfast bowl. Yes, we could put Archie's breakfast oh. in it. We always, the breakfast we give Archie, we heat it up in the microwave. So. We can actually put Archie's food in here, microwave it, and then serve it to him. He's a spoiled little boy. Are you asking for food? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Is. Okay, we'll go put some food in this for you, Archie. Look. That's sick. How cool is this? That's really sick. This was Whoa. three yep, three dollars. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it's like my tinfoil hat. <laughs> <laughs> That'll keep the 5G rays out. <laughs> That's sick. This is so cool. So the bottom of this is like all shiny and it's got this really interesting kind of texture to it. And then the front of it, it's got blue and it's it's almost as though like they've made this bottom part with this silver kind of like shiny thing and then they've poured some sort of resin layer on the top and it's I don't, I don't know how this is made but it's got this really cool blue kind of tone to it on the top part I don't know what I want to do with it but it'll sit in the kitchen and you know we'll serve maybe dessert or something on it maybe it's a good cake plate three dollars I wish I could find more of these I've got no idea where it's from there's literally no brand on it or anything but it's so cool next Ugh. Is it charcuterie? It's a shark coochie plate. Oh, a shark coochie plate. That's it. That's perfect for it. So this is my favorite swirly glass. This was originally $20, but see the red line that was on it? It was, oh, I wiped the red line off. Whoops. Okay, well, this was half price, so I got it for 10 And is there anything on the back of it? It says recycled glass made in Spain. Hey, that's from the same set as my white one. If you guys remember my white one yeah. made of the recycled glass made in Spain. So this must be by the same company. I'm just like slowly accumulating the biggest collection ever of these cool swirly glass things. This is just, again, good for serving things. I'll be using it at Christmas to serve food on. I love it. All right, next. Check this out. Oh, it is a hanging wine glass rack. And it was $5. Really? Yeah, $5. Wow. So I thought that we could put this up under one of the kitchen cabinets and then we can hang our wine glasses off it. Nice. So I guess you mount it like this. Yeah. Yep, mount it like that. All right, so the plan for this is... Oh no, it do... no! What? Oh, okay. Uh, take two. No! <laughs> ah! No! This is why it got donated. It doesn't work with any cups. Are you serious? No, seriously? Hang on, wait. I'm Can gonna you go... grab one from the kitchen? Yep. If it doesn't take wine glasses, it's pretty good for hanging birds. Alright, another round. Ah, uh, seriously? We go. That's why. 
That's why I got donated. I'm so confused. Round four. Oh, moment of truth. Yay! Yay! Okay, so it literally only suits our champagne glasses. <laughs> Look, I'm more than happy to drink more champagne, so that's uh, fine by me. All right, this next thing. Now, I have like a little bit of a lesson to tell you guys. I don't know if it's the same in America, but in op shops in Australia, they always will have these like sections where they've just got old stuff in boxes. Like literally every Vinnie's that I've been to will have a rack or a shelf and there's just a bunch of boxes and you can't actually see what anything is. So I spent like an hour looking through all these boxes and I picked up every single box and opened it and looked at what was inside. And I really, really like this one. So you open this. This was $4. Ooh. So do you know what it is, Dan? Yeah, it's like a little dip sort of thing. You like put your biscuits around the outside and put like guacamole or something on the inside. Incorrect. This is an olive bowl. So you put your olives around the outside. That's a tomato. What? It's an olive server. But that's a tomato. It is too. Oh my god, that didn't occur to me. It's a tomato. How cute. Oh, well that's cool. So uh, yeah, it's got a big, big red tomato in the center of it. And then on the outside, it's like got the red and green stripes, just like Archie, red and green. Mm. And you're supposed to put your olives around the outside. And then when you're done with your pips, you put them in the center. What are you doing, Archie? Yeah, Archie is very frustrated that all of these things are empty. Yeah. <laughs> He's not used to empty bowls. Yeah, I don't really like this. You like it? Yeah. Four dollars. Brand new, never been used, came I, in this box. I didn't even know these things existed. Yeah, but it's an old-fashioned kind of thing. Things like this are from the 90s. Big Tom. Big Tom. Oh, because it's a tomato. Big Tom. Mm. Big Tom. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. <laughs> the last thing, you're probably going to be kind of confused by this, so I'm going to give it to you like piece by piece. Okay, sure. Piece number one. Thank you. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. It's like a marble sugar thing with like you put a spoon in it, right? Yep. This is a completely marble sugar sugar thing. I think it's for sugar or possibly for wasabi. <laughs> Number two. Another. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it? No, it's just it's like, here, have this different thing. Another. <laughs> Three. No, it's not the same thing, right? No. Jeez. <laughs> oh, you wrap this really nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, that's nice. So what do you think it's for? Confusing birds. <laughs> yeah, confusing birds. I imagine that things seal nicely. In here. I don't know what the other two are. Oh. What do you don't know what they're gonna be? Ooh, it's a grinder. So this is a marble pepper grinder. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And I again manifested this into existence because I said a couple of weeks ago that I wanted to find a stone pepper mill. <laughs> Can I guess what the last part is? You'll never guess. I'll never guess. This is a salt shaker. This one is for salt. So uh, pop, pop it on the little tray so they can see all of them together. So we have for $20 a spinning... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I was more shocked than him. <laughs> okay, mate, that's it. No, no. So for twenty dollars, we got a spinning salt, pepper, and sugar, and uh, I don't know what the other one's meant to be. <laughs> so, yeah, well, we, so we got pepper and salt, and one of them will be for sugar. But what do we use the other one for? Uh, White and brown sugar, maybe. Oh, you're a genius. Do you oh, like it? I was going to give this to you as a Christmas present, but oh, that's like, nice. thank you. impressive collection of thrifted things, wouldn't you say so? Look, 
how I think I did really really well as far as like sticking to a color palette like we've basically got pink and blue and like a little sort of hint of green here and there and then there's that swirly black plate that I got a couple of episodes ago but oh my god I'm so happy I'm so it all looks so nice together I'm so oh, here comes the bird what is it Richie? it all looks so nice he says <laughs> he throws it off the counter yeah, you walk away. You walk away. Okay guys, that's it. That's everything. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Did you like all of your little kitchen presents? I did. They're really nice. What was your favourite? The stone goblets. The They're stone really cool. goblets are so They're cool. So sick. Like, oh yes. Oh. Fancy. <laughs> Very fancy. And they feel so nice. Solid stone. Someone said to me the other day, Alex, you need to put solid stone on merch. Because every time I pick up one of these things from a thrift store, I'm like, solid stone! stone. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, tell me down below what your favorite kitchen piece was. And also, if you've thrifted any really cool kitchen items, take a photo and tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I would love to see, because I'm just obsessed with cool vintage kitchen and stuff. So uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.